Hey everyone, Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. I want to go over a really incredible development technique and concept today. This is a, a bit of a breakout session from a recent member only event that I uh, put on uh, through Enterprise DNA. And this uh, was, was centered around financial reporting templates. Now, I want to go into this a little bit deeper uh, in this video or a specific technique I touched upon uh, within that particular um, workshop. And it comes down to developing automated reports. It doesn't have to be financial, it doesn't have to be. In this case, it is financial reporting, um, but also dynamic tabular reports as well. So what we have here is we have a template design, and that, that was a key part of this particular workshop. Um, it was a, uh, just as a side note, it was a uh, what I, what I what I termed scenario method workshop. These are member only events, and you can actually access it through Enterprise DNA online. So if you want to um, check that out, all you, all you have to do is just a, uh, an upgrade to membership, and you can access all the, all of the things on there, including this. Now, what we've got here, and this is this is seriously cool, and that's why I wanted to break it out and, and show you the concepts around how you actually do it is so we have a templated table here right so uh, the template has subtotals it has spaces where you want uh, etc and it is set out in exactly the uh, template that unique template that you want okay so it doesn't have to be the standard power bi formatted table that we get by dragging and dropping you can actually manipulate where particular results go in a table by utilizing this template technique now what i want to do though is show you how you can actually make this dynamic and so so you can have dynamic financial reports or dynamic templated tables as well as on top of the template design and that's really expanding on really extending this idea and this concept of these um, templates which I um, have been really developing quite hard in the last uh, last few months and I think is uh, so applicable to s lots of different visualization scenarios that you might um, or ways that you want to you might want to represent your data so what we've got here in this particular example is we can look at actuals across each different quarter but then we can also say select the um, the slicer that I've got here and, and then change what is actually in the report and have a look at what the difference was between last year and also what I've incorporated is this percentage to revenue so what I might what I want to see is well for all of my cost of goods sold and all of my expenses down here what was each individual result here as a percent of the revenues this is quite common in, in the financial reporting um, space and so what I've done here, again, I've created a dynamic calculation. So you can see here that cost of goods sold is 30% of total revenues, for example. Then in quarter two, it's 27.25 and so on and so forth. And so the idea here, the, the, the key takeaway one is, is how do you do this? How do you create uh, the dynamic interior of a table in a templated form? Okay. So it's quite advanced, it's quite advanced, but it just shows you how incredible Power BI is for this type of stuff. I mean, there's just no tool out there historically or currently from what I'm aware uh, that can that can do something this extensive around financial point. You can you can truly automate dynamic financials. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Okay, so I want to take you through the core of this technique. How do we be, how do we enable this selection to find really good insights? Like as an example, as a really quick example. So say for instance here we're looking at our total gross profit. It's a pretty poor performing company, right? <laughs> which isn't which isn't too good. But but check out this particular outlier, right? Quarter three, quarter three. Why is this positive well what we can do is by how this is set up we can actually go okay well what were the actuals this year so 11 million and then we can quickly flip back to 2015 and see that it was 8 million before so there was a, a strong a solid increase in our um you know in our revenues from year to year and that's what why it is represented as per um as per this year 2 million right so very good insight and being able to see it in a really quick and dynamic way is quite exciting now here is the core of how this works right now first of all what you need to do is you need to create a table that can create the slicer 
Okay, and so what I did was I came in here and I created a slice, this is really, really simple table. So you see here, I've got actuals versus last year versus, uh, and then percentage to revenue. So those are my three items in the slicer that I want. Now some of you might actually seen uh, a video on dynamic visuals that I've created historically. Now this is really, it's an extension of that. It's, it's, it's using a similar technique, but extending it further with, um, by incorporating in this templated um, financial reporting design as well. So once we do that, we create the slicer and then we need to integrate this into a formula. So depending on what um, slicer selection we have, we want to feed through a particular result. So what I want you to do is drill into this part first, okay? So I've used variables to simplify this immensely because if this was written out as a one straight formula, there would be mass confusion. So what I've done is I've said, okay, well, switch true. Key technique, got to embed switch true in your mind. It's a really great uh, way to create dynamic things like this. So what, I, what we're looking at here is whatever selection, that's what this table data measure is, is, is working out, okay, well, what selection have we made? If it is actuals, then return the actuals variable. If it is last year, then return the versus last year variable. And then if it is percentage revenue, return this particular variable here. Okay, now what are our actual variables? That's, that's an interesting question. Okay, so let's just have a look at actuals. And as I go up here, check out what all these variables are. It's actually switch true itself, okay? So think about that. So we get to actuals up here, switch true. So we have we have incorporated, this is this is our cool switch true. We have incorporated switch trues within a switch true. So think about how how cool that is and how complex this would be if you actually try to have this all out in one particular formula and you use nested if statements. It'd be absolutely impossible. But setting it out like this in DAX it actually is not too difficult. It's not too difficult. It does look like there's a lot of formula there, but it's actually just this part of the formula is allocating. So sorry, I'll just drill in. This part of the formula here this part of the formula here, this is allocating the correct results to the templated design. And then the switch true down after the return is enabling the dynamic result to feed into the table. So you see here that we've got the similar sort of setup in, in the switch true for actuals. Well, if we come down to versus last year, see it's a very similar setup with just slightly different calculations because versus last year is going to be different to say actuals and then same for percent revenue similar sort of setup and again because it's percentages we we're putting formats or wrapping formats around all these different things so think about all the variables in this it's just crazy it's just crazy now i can't really do it justice because i only want to keep uh, i want i want to end up this breakout here um but this was a really detailed session that we went through um it was a member only one and 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 possibly one of the best ones we've, we've had because it went for an hour and a half and it was really how do you build this up from scratch now i just wanted to break out this part because i think it's seriously cool how you can now totally totally automate and um, have dynamic reporting inside of a templated design table inside of Power BI. Um, you know, and you can incorporate it with the rest of your model and create filters, etc. So for example, you know, it's not only dynamic, but we can go across different years. So this is how you can say automate it from here on out, you know, into the future as well. So you know, into 20, 2018, etc. So really, really, um, you know, powerful stuff, right? So that's what I wanted to, to, to really just showcase in, in this particular example. Okay, if you want to actually have a play with this, um, what you can do is you can actually jump to the Enterprise DNA Showcase page. So this is this particular um, website here, so enterprisedna.co forward slash Power BI Showcase. And you can actually um, navigate to it from the, the home, home page as well. But you can actually play with this individual um, report and just see what, what the functionality is, etc. And I highly recommend that if you're really interested in this sort of reporting. Okay, hope you like this one. Hope you like the content, the idea. I've been really working hard on, on, on how you incorporate this into reports. And I think this just has so much application. As I say, not just for financial reporting, but for lots of custom tab tabular reporting that you might be doing. If, uh, if uh, certainly also 
um, lots of content coming out on Enterprise DNA TV, so I want to get that out to you. Um, so, so certainly subscribe if you want to um, if you want to see that as soon as it comes out. Okay, all the best. Take care. Speak to you soon.